Let's learn how to knit jogless stripes. This technique is used in a lot of sweaters knit in the round, like my West Knit sweaters or my dog sweaters with these fun bold stripes. So it's a way of knitting in the round without getting that jag or that whoopsies at the beginning of your round. Brioche, are you gonna show off? Ugh show off your jogless join. So we're gonna get smooth joins in our colorful stripes, like the striped pup sweater. So it's really simple. What happens is in the second round of your new color, we're gonna do a little trick, okay? So in your project, it works best for stockinette stitch. You need to knit your new color with one round, regular, and then watch what we're gonna do with that second round. Are you ready? When you're knitting jogless stripes, the first thing you do is knit one plain round with your new color. So I'm using this olive green as my new color and the first round just knit normal. I knit all of my stitches with the new color. The jogless technique begins on round two of your new color. So on the first stitch, do you see that other color below the stitch that you just knit on that previous round? You're gonna pick up, so take the right needle and pick up that stitch, that different color stitch, place it on your left needle and knit it together with the first stitch. That's all there is to it. And then keep on knitting. Let's do that one more time. So after you work a plain knit round with your new color, all your stitches are going to be with that new color. And then on round two, pick up that contrast color from below, go into the back like this, lift it onto the left needle, knit it together with that first stitch. So after you knit it, you should see from that column right there, that's one stitch that you knitted. It kind of felt like a knit two together, but that lifts the color from below to make that beautiful jogless detail. So I did that for all of my stripes. It works best in stockinette stitch using two or more colors. I'm doing or two or more stripes, two or more rounds of each color. So this technique works best if you do two round stripes or four round stripes or big color blocks. But look at that, there's no jag, there's no little hiccup at the beginning of your round. It's really smooth. By knitting on the second round of the new color, you lift that stitch up and knit it together with your first stitch. And then it'll look just like that, really beautiful. One more thing you may encounter during your jogless stripes is if you have a knit round with your first round of a new color, but what if you have to purl your second round or do some seed stitch or something? So if you have to purl that first stitch, you can lift the strand onto your needle just like you did before. And if you need to purl, then just purl. And that'll help lift the color from below. You might get a little bit of that color showing in your first stitch, but that's okay. The best way is if you're doing this technique with uh, knitting your stitches, but if you have to purl, you could purl that stitch. Most of the times this technique is great for stockinette stitch, so you're knitting that first stitch. But keep on going and knit those beautiful jogless joins. If you loved that tip, there's a lot of other free YouTube tutorials that you can learn and learn some new tips and tricks for your knitting. And I also have a lot of West Knits workshops that dive into topics like designing your own top-down shawl, or how to knit socks, or how to apply color. We love color, don't we, Brioche? And we need to learn how to use all the colors. So there's a lot of workshops, and uh, you can sign up for those at westknits.com. So I hope you'll join me for some new tutorials on my channel here, and check out all those other uh, patterns and workshops on westknits.com, and I'll link to all those things down below. So I'll see you in the next video so we can learn some more things.